These chickens are helping you restore this old abandoned apple orchard. I got that right? You got that right, and hopefully they're gonna make it productive again. That's great. Papa, you got a new lens. Yeah. Good morning, Plymouth, Maine. We just had that. I'm not sure what that is, but that is delicious. A breakfast dish. What is that, Heather? Uh, it's called a Dutch puff, Dutch pancake, Dutch baby puff pancake, all kinds of names. Yeah, so it's consistent. It's got a lot of eggs in it. Yep, so it's it's got a lot of eggs and a lot of milk, and then you just put a tiny bit of flour and it puffs all up. Nice. Is that a keeper, Beauty? Yes, I'm getting the recipe from her. I think we'll do that one again. Yes. Okay, boys. I challenge these boys. Texas boys, watch out. The main boys are coming. If they could put up a movie by the time I left, I'd shout it out. Are you going to get it up? Yep. All right. This one's made a video too. I didn't even know about that. You snuck in. We're going to get double? We're going to get two videos from the main boys? All right. Okay. On the same channel? What's the name of the channel? Shivering Stars Farm. Shivering Stars Farm. Did that say right? Yep. Farms or farm? Farm. Shivering Stars Farm, y'all. All right, guys, let's say our goodbyes. Bye. Bye. Bye, man. Bye. Bye. Just like this. Bye. Bye. Oh, big hugs. Bye, Gideon. Bye. Bye, Mr. Brown. Bye, bye, buddy. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye Mr. Brown. Bye, bye. Lily's feeling a little under the weather, so she's inside taking a nap. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. <laughs> we had a really good time. And as we thought, you're a lot like us. So, Rachel's saying bye-bye. just have a farm. Oh my goodness, but you're really Rachel's just That's bye -bye. right. You're real people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rachel's saying bye-bye. Yay, wave. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> Other than your messy face. Bye-bye. Dave. Can you say bye-bye? <laughs> I'm gonna have the Bye! She was totally waving. Yes, I know. Yes. And <laughs> saying bye-bye. <laughs> you me, do me. She's like, not anymore. Nope, not anymore. We. <laughs> <laughs>
layer of hay, probably at least what, eight, 18 uh, inches, two feet, two, two feet, two feet. Yep. The chickens were in here before that. You can see the remnants of the That's chickens. Staying warm in the winter, it gets pretty cold in oh, New yeah. Hampshire. How cold does it to, get here? It can get down to 40 below zero. Okay, so he puts the chickens in here for the winter. They stay warm. They got stuff to do, stirring the, the hay. And whatever they leave behind, you guys are gonna get it, aren't you? No. He says no, I bet you they will. Are those apple trees those, coming into bloom behind you? Those are apple trees. We probably got about 50 <laughs> apple trees there on the property. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Brown? So what kind of apples are, er, <laughs> where were we with that? <laughs> the apple trees. Apple trees, these, these, these look like they had been abandoned. Yes, this property was an old farm, I guess a potato farm that had been abandoned when we bought it. And what are you got, what's your plans for these old apple trees? The plans is to get these back. <laughs> Come on, man, we're shooting a show here, buddy. Wait your turn. The plan is here to take the apple trees, bring them back to life, and feed what we can't eat to the pigs and the chickens, and then freeze up what we need so we can make apple pies and get a nice old apple cider press. Excuse me, sir. He said, you're going to put it in an old apple cider press. <laughs> Try to find an old apple cider press to restore. That'd he likes great. to steal the show, doesn't he, that he rooster? Does, the rooster. It's your turn, buddy. It's your turn. What, do you, what would you like to say? You have the platform, buddy. Tell the world how you feel. Tell the world what's up. That's what's up. What is the role of the chickens in this abandoned apple orchard? The role of the chickens is to clean this all up and get it so we can have it and we don't have all the small trees. The role of the chickens is to clean it all up and do all the work for us so we don't have to. If you look over there to that area, I just moved them out last weekend and where they were it looked like this before. What? Yep. So the the chickens are helping you restore these abandoned, uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> these chickens are helping you restore this old abandoned apple orchard. I got that right? You got that right, and hopefully they're gonna make it productive again. <laughs> As Olivia brought over some blossoms to the chickens when they were over there, and they went to town and I couldn't believe it. Wait a minute, the chickens are eating the blossoms? Yeah, as okay. they're falling off the trees, cool. they're eating the blossoms right now. Lots of blossom petals, no blossom petals. Not only are you feeding your chickens now with the blossom petals, you're gonna just feed them your extra apples, the rotten ones that fall to the ground, to the chickens, to the pigs, and your chickens are fertilizing and clearing this area for you. That's right, might as well put them to work for us and less work we have to do. You got it figured out, buddy. I hope so. If only that rooster would figure it out. Right. And be quiet. Does he roost, Does he crow like that all the time? When people, or is he getting jealous that we're not paying him any attention? No, he crows like that all the time. I had a, <laughs> oh, okay. I had a viewer leave a comment saying that she was watching one of the shows and the rooster was going. She goes, I know who you're watching. You're watching Lumna <laughs> Acres. I hear they're Don Rooster again. <laughs> nice little chicken tractor you got here. Doesn't look like that cost you an arm and a leg. I want to say it cost us around a hundred bucks to build Are it last you serious? Year. I'm serious. Okay, a hundred bucks for this. It's just plastic. Yep. Going over... We got green, We got greenhouse plastic with some strapping. Okay, so you can raise and lower that. So we can raise and lower it. We can use it for a greenhouse. You put poultry wire on here so they can't get... Yeah, the predators can't get in. Cattle panel you pick up for I think like 22 bucks a 16 okay. foot section. And that's all you need. What breed is this? We have the Icelandic chicks over here. And then we have a silky hen that hatched out five uh, Bard Rocks chicks for us. Why'd you choose Icelandic? Because they're very hardy in the wintertime. They actually love the snow and most chickens don't. And they'll actually, they're able to harvest a lot of their own food right off the land. Now wait a minute. They go out in the snow. They actually go out in the snow and they love the snow. Wow. They're from Iceland. They're one of the oldest breeds still around. What? Yep. So are you happy with them? Very happy with them. And when you say they forage for a lot of their own food, 
What are you talking about? So how much less do you have to feed them than a traditional? These bird? guys, hopefully it's 50% less that you what? gotta feed them. They'll forage that well. And some people actually don't feed them at all. And I would say that probably depends on where you live. So maybe <laughs> where you live, where you have a longer growing season. Yeah. They I've been thinking about Icelandic. You. Especially a chicken breed that you don't gotta feed at all. Right. So you're letting them free range in the evening or what? Not yet, when they get older we will. We'll put them out with the other chicks. The okay. other chickens and we'll let them free range. I can see they've picked that apart pretty good. How long have they been in there? They've been here not even a day. Not even a day, folks. They're really forging well. All right, Jonah, tell us all about it, buddy. Come on, let's see what you know. Corn is crushed. Corn is crushed. What else? I don't know. <laughs> Are they barnyards? We got the corn is crushed in there and barred Plymouth Rock. Close, buddy. And I guess you're raising these guys up for meat. We are raising the meat, the Cornish cross for meat, and then the barred rocks. We're going to keep the roosters for meat, and then we're going to sell the hens and make some extra money. We hatch these here at the property. Okay, look, I like his, uh, I like it. Is that homemade? Is that a homemade watering system? It is. You got uh, chicken nipples on there. Yep. Chicken watering nipples. Those are just standard issue. Those are just standard issue. You get them right on Amazon. What are the, what are those particular ones called? Do you know? I don't. I can let you know. I have it. That's uh, okay. We'll link it. We'll link, put it in the links below. Okay, and then we got the, the the PVC line. It's going all the way up to this. He just fills this up, and it automatically feeds with gravity. Man, good system, buddy. Thank you. Oh, here we go, here we go, what's next? I see your greenhouse is working so good. They're almost too hot in there. Almost too hot in there, that's right. And if it gets too hot, we can roll up the sides like on the chicken tractor. I like how you use the same type of structure for meat birds, for layer birds, for greenhouse. Anything else you use the same type of structure for? Not yet. We you got plans for this anywhere? Out after the greenhouse, we'll put some more chicks in there. No, plans, like so other people can build this. Oh, I have videos on YouTube that I made of building it. Okay, we'll link those too. You gotta send me the links. Another use for cattle guards. I ought to call you the cattle guard homesteader. They work good for <laughs> vertical gardening. Yeah, so not only the greenhouse, mobile greenhouses, they are, I guess, is this gonna be for a trellis or was this a greenhouse too over your uh, stationary well, bed? If you need to, you could use it for a greenhouse, but we use it for a trellis. We grow our cucumbers and our zucchinis on the side. And we just grow them up, weave them in between, and then when the cucumbers and zucchinis are growing, they're hanging down and you don't gotta dig in the dirt to get them. You just pick them right off. Nice. They also work good for growing your tomatoes up the side and looping them through. We need to try that. Yeah. So we did last year. We had cucumbers, zucchini, summer squash, and tomatoes. And it works. And then really we would well. just weave them. Yep. It's and then you could put up like if you're high tunnel, you could put your fabric cloth right over there in the winter time, and you could be planting in there. Does it go? Do, how far up do you like the cucumbers go? Could they go all the way? To I bet the top? you they could. Ours only got to like here last year. Okay. But I bet you. Especially if you guys have a longer growing season. We do. I bet you they would get almost all the way to the top. And I wonder if you planted it more intensely. Right. You could. You could get more. Because they wouldn't maybe crisscross down here so much. Nope. I, I think we need to try that. Let's try it. Can't do wait it. to see it in your yard. I know, year. man. <laughs> all because of this guy. We'll never think of New Hampshire the same now. Nope. New Hampshire represent. All right. Tomorrow we'll do the chores with him. And then we're going to Vermont, gonna go see Ben Falk. See you guys then.